Hello and welcome to the News Button. In today's edition of News Button, we shall discuss about the spread of the new variant of COVID, the Omicron virus. Friends, ever since Omicron, the new variant of the COVID-19 virus has been spotted by South African scientists, it has set the alarm bells ringing worldwide. Most countries suspended international flights from South Africa and other at-risk countries as a knee-jerk reaction. The virus has now reached almost all countries and is spreading five times faster than its previous variants globally. In India too, the government panicked to take a slew of measures and instructed all state governments to keep their COVID war rooms ready. Amidst all suck waves, there is some good news. You may not believe it, but it's true. Omicron might be the end of the COVID pandemic. It may sound the death knell of this dreaded killer that has ravaged the world for the last two years after it originated from China. Evidence available so far suggests that even though Omicron spreads much faster, its symptoms are mild and is not impacting the patients much. People who have contracted it are either asymptomatic or show mild symptoms like cough, stuffy nose, or fatigue. This has led many top scientists and doctors to opine that Omicron, which is a version of the Delta variant with additional mutation, might work as a natural vaccine itself. They believe that over a period of time, this virus has attenuated itself. This is like our vaccine strategy, where we make attenuation in the virus and administer it to people. Considering its highly infectious nature, top scientists say Omicron will prove to be a better vaccine than any other available vaccine. Unlike the previous Delta variant, Omicron goes straight into the lungs. Once the whole virus lodges itself inside the body, the body has to fight more vigorously. So the more the body fights against the virus, the better is the immune response. Experts say all this is happening for the good. It will result in improved immune response. Two international studies have shown that it grows 10 times slower than the Delta variant in the lungs, which is a very good science. It means that people who would be catching the virus would not get much affected, particularly in the lungs area. Despite all this, let us wait and watch. Let's wait to see the data for another few weeks to find out if Omicron behaves in a similar way in all the countries. Meanwhile, we must not lower our guards because of the highly infectious nature, if the spread will go exponentially high, then people will rush towards hospitals, not because of severity of their conditions, but out of panic. This will overwhelm the health infrastructure. There is also possibility that treatment may cause more harm than benefits. Like it did, if you remember, during the second wave, because of mindless steroid use, which led to problems like black fungus. The data available so far shows that Omicron may work as a live attenuated vaccine. It is highly infectious and spread very fast. It is hoped that it is going to cause mild illness for most people. In this light, experts stress that it will act as a booster dose for those who are vaccinated and a vaccine dose for those who are unvaccinated. It is, as they say, God save the southern lamb. This is going to be a blessing in disguise 
for poor countries like those in Africa and elsewhere in the world where the vaccine uptake is very low. This is where Omicron would be a big boon. It may act as a natural vaccine to provide additional protection to the people. If this happens, then it can be one way by which this pandemic actually can come to an end. However, we have to wait for a few more weeks for a clearer picture. Now the data is mainly coming from South Africa. This data may or may not be applicable to all the countries because of factors like kind of population, shadow prevalence, etc. So we'll have to wait and watch the data that is coming from the UK and other places for some more weeks. Looking at the mutations of Omicron, you can argue viruses mutate to adapt themselves so that they can survive. It's more like Darwin's law of survival. You can also call it nature's law of adaptation. The new mutant is causing very mild and self-limiting systems. Usually, a deadly virus dies with the person whom it infects, but a variant that causes a very mild infection survives and spreads fast. This is so because it is so mild that most of the time people remain asymptomatic and don't even isolate themselves. So, in this wild goose change for mutating viruses, we may finally end up changing a version of the common cold. Yes, you heard it right a version of the common cold. COVID might decrepit and waken itself to the level of a common cold. But, cousin, we must weigh the collateral harm which will ensue. To mitigate the impact of mutants, we have to resort to focused protection, including vaccination of high-risk groups. Analogies are also drawn with Spanish flu that had hit the world about 100 years ago and infected around 35% of the world population before suffering to become an endemic in two years' time. It had claimed 1% to 6% of the global population. In India alone, it had killed nearly 2 crore people. Based on the commonalities between Spanish flu and coronavirus, experts predict that coronavirus might become an endemic with the advent of the new variant Omicron. The first two waves of both coronavirus and Spanish flu showed similar infectious patterns. While the first wave was mild, the second wave was huge and deadly. After two waves, the virus of the Spanish flu mutated and became so mild that people who were infected only showed symptoms like the common cold. Believe it or not, the third wave was milder than the second wave and did not cause much damage. There was no fourth wave in India thereafter. Medical experts say that the currently available evidence tends to show that Omicron might turn out to be a variant that will bring this pandemic to an end. So the only difference is that we didn't have the vaccines in 1918 and we have the vaccines now. There was not much international travel then and we have a lot of international travel now, which causes too much of a population intermixing. Otherwise, the way this virus is behaving now and the way that virus behaved 100 years back is more or less similar. So in all probability, the world can hope for the fag end of the pandemic if Omicron continues to behave like a mild variant. Hope you like the conversation. Before leaving, leave your comments in the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel 
so that we can come up with newer videos of your choice. Thank you. Thanks for watching.